sharing a studio in Union Square on 14th Street, and I have very fond memories of going to the studio and um, hanging out. But she never encouraged me to paint. Um, I, I think her attitude was that if I had the desire, I would be approaching her. But um, definitely over the years, I learned how to stretch canvas. I helped write her publicity. I, I was her harshest critic. And um, so I was involved very much in an administrative way. <laughs> um, but, uh, and of course, the inevitable question, um, from everyone um, was, are you an artist like your mother? <laughs> I got so tired of it, I just would say no. <laughs> and let the questioner fumble. <laughs> but, um, well, how about you, uh, as far as your art and your mother's relationship? Your well, she with... always had us doing, my, I have an older brother, and she had us doing art just all the time. But, she never taught me how to do art. She just gave us material. And like holiday times were very creative. You know, we were making potato prints and like doing photography and like making paper. And, but she never like said you have to be an artist. And she never, the only one time when I started doing my, like my first or second picture book, and she told me, she's like, oh, you might like gosh. And that was all she had to say. And I went out and found gosh, and I love gosh, and I've used it ever since. Um, and then there was another time where she's like, you should use a little fluorescent orange, just like that. And I used fluorescent orange, and my editor said, no, you can never do that. <laughs> um, but, the, you know, but it was always there. And I actually very clearly decided when I was about six or seven that I was not going to be an artist. It was a too much of a difficult life and I saw her like trying to sell art and she would do one painting work all this time on it and then it would sell and it would be gone and it sort of devastated me so I did draw a lot and I did write a lot and I was like I'm gonna be a writer because that's like a sensible job <laughs> <laughs> so, and I don't have to compete with my mother and so I did it I became a writer but the art kept coming back and I just kept doing it and I would doodle all the time and my first books were actually books I had written and I doodled the art. I didn't think I would ever do it. And then it was an editor who saw that like very, almost like very rough line, like some of Ruben Tams and my mother's work was like this sort of sloppy kind of painterly style that is mine that was definitely influenced by a lot of artists that I know and knew. So it, it was there anyway, mm -hmm. but it was funny that I had to say I wasn't going to do it. And I still don't think of myself as an artist. I'm an illustrator, okay. and a writer, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> which so, is an art, so. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering also about um, the other artists who were in your mother's lives, and did you get to know some of the famous artists of the period. And, uh, Linda, did your, was your mom host much to other artists coming through or not so much? No, but I, um, like for those of you who don't know, my mother was, uh, and my father was on the board of Mad, and my mother served as, um, as the director for a term, and the whole family was always very involved here and at what is now the Booth Bay Region mm -hmm. Art Foundation, used to be the Brick House. And um, when I came back from uh, Europe and I was looking for work, I was staying, spending a lot of time with my parents. And that's when mother was a uh, director here. And um, so <laughs> I was co-opted to help write a 
brochure on William Zorak, and they had a special <laughs> show of his works and his wife's here, and it's going way back to 94. And then my father said, um, we need to computerize our membership list and our mail. I uh, I did the data entry for the very first <laughs> automated list of members. I couldn't get out of Maine fast enough to get out of Maine. But, um, There's not much money involved in that. Is there? <laughs> no. How about you, Lisa? Uh, well, so I walked into this space and I immediately get like very nostalgic because I know I knew a lot of these artists. Like Ruben Tam was a very dear friend of the entire family, Ruben and Jerry, his wife. And we used to go to Manhattan and stay with them in Chinatown. And he taught my mother how to cook. And I still remember like eating limpets, you know, or on Monhegan, he would make, you know, spaghetti sauce with limpets that you take out of the ocean, you could eat things out of the ocean. <laughs> um, and you were talking about like running around New York. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, my mother would, yeah, like I would, she was fast ahead of me and going to some gallery and I was trailing behind and, you know, but yeah, Bill McCartan, I mean, all of the Monhegan artists that my mother was influenced by and then some of them died before I was born or, but others that I just grew up with. Francis, who's hanging up there, and my mother were became incredibly close friends. She was a neighbor of ours on Monhegan. Um, who else is here? I mean, Michael Lowe. Uh, Kevin Gears is here. He's still alive. Not here physically, but his yeah. work is here. I feel I I, I was and curious that that was such a thing. I brought in my mother has did so many figure drawings. I have a whole portfolio and I mean she has thousands of I would say at least she latter years lived in Puerto Rico and she had these like great Puerto Rican models sometimes she would just hire them herself or like would get together like your mom did and hire a model but so much like the energy I love her figure drawings I just like drool over them I mean as a kid I was had a funny story when I was had a Party when I was in fifth grade, and these, you know, we had like nudes on the wall, but my mother had her art on the wall. It was no big deal to me. Parker Ward and Tommy Hughes kept coming over to my house, and they loved sitting in the living room. Realized there was this drawing of two, like, not just one, but two naked women sitting on a couch, and I was like, oh, and I made my mother take it. <laughs> I vividly remember the stress and uproar when there was going to be a member show and my mother would take the old balmy days out oh, yeah. <laughs> with a friend to help carry and the, they would load up the boat with the Monhegan artist's mm -hmm. works to bring to the show. <laughs> and then in the reverse at yeah. the end of yeah. the show. Yeah. And it was a, a labor of yeah. love. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but they did that for years. Yeah. 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 So well, they actually yeah. brought the paintings from the Monhegan artists mm, yes. from Monhegan to exhibit to the oh, show. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. yes. Wow. And then take them back yeah. at the yeah. end of the show. Yeah. Yeah. And what's interesting, when we walked in here, my husband, who didn't know a lot of these artists, um, said, these are Monheganars don't look like the Monheganars of today. They're not necessarily representational. And I do think that that generation, the community of artists that came to Maine, and went elsewhere in the winter, they weren't just Maine artists. Maine influenced them, the right. slight, the sea, the sky, the incredible things in Maine. But it, like, was that Morris Hantman? Ha ha um, you know, yeah, it influenced sure. that to me. It's human, it's yeah. very monhegan but it doesn't look like a cliff, mm -hmm. um, which I think was interesting how oh, that's shifted a bit. Um, and just so you know, I brought some pictures of my mother too. Um, <laughs> and uh, they were much smaller, but this is when she was about 20 on Monhegan painting on the rocks. And I have the, some of these with information on the back too. If someone wants to take some, any, all of you, it's probably enough if you want to take some. Like, like, mm -hmm. uh, there's a little bio on her. I feel like this lower one of your mother's is also very similar, like some of my mother's. 
Yeah, I see a lot of a lot Asian yeah. influence yeah. in yeah. her mother. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. More recent, and that's a little bit. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very so, uh, expressionist yeah. and very sort of abstract expressionism. Mm -hmm. kind of. It's definitely very uh, fluid mm -hmm. in uh, 